my name is Trixie. I'm Mia. I'm Lebron. And I'm Shani. So today we will be making a simple fermentation using the fruit strawberry. So why berry go round? Well, it's simple. Once you take a sip, just a hint of what we made, it will make your world turn around. Round and round. And so now let's go on to procedure. Transition. But before everything else, let's first cleanse our bodies by assassinating the bacteria and viruses present in them. Wash them all out. After cleaning all the things that are needed in our wine production, we now start with our ingredients. First on our list, drum roll please. So we have the almighty oh strawberry. Of course, we have to clean and pluck the leaves. Otherwise, it will be bitter. And we don't want the wine to be bitter. We want it to be tasty and fragrant. Of course, we don't forget to cut the berries to catalyze a faster reaction. Now that's taken care of, time for the drinking part. I mean the wine making part. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. The wine making part. First, layer the sugars and the strawberries. The sweet stuff, just like me. Please cut that out from the video. Please. Next, we mix them. Mix them up real hard. This will aid in a very robust fermentation. You can also add water for faster and easier combination. And after that, crush those berries. Show no mercy. By doing so, it releases the juices and exposes the sugars, which are essential for fermentation. You might also want to add some peptic enzymes in there. Adding it to the wine will break down the pulp, making pressing more efficient. Meanwhile, let's prepare our yeast nutrients. Its primary purpose is to convert sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide. But do not directly mix it with the wine. We have to power up the yeast first by mixing it with warm water to acclimate it to its new environment. Now when that's added, we now add some wine tannin for some flavor extravaganza. Don't know what that means, but it sounds fascinating. Then we add acid bend for pH balance and preservation of the wine. Now we move on to the next step. Finally, after having a stirring contest with the wine, something magical happens. You ready for it? It starts to get bubbles. Securely covered with a cloth or an airlock bag to keep an anaerobic atmosphere when fermenting. into a world of alcoholic fermentation wherein we deprive a fruit of oxygen, add some yeast, add some sugar, and a bunch of enzymes and you will have a beautiful, delicious, well-crafted wine or strawberry wine. I also learned that the byproduct is alcohol, which is the one we drink, which is pretty cool. And bye. The word fermentation was once a complex word to me, but as I grew older, is the more I realized what fermentation really is. What this for? In the world we live in today, fermentation is important and this performance has to prove it to me. Fermentation is a traditional and widely used method in the production of various food and beverage products. Example is in this peta, making wine through alcoholic fermentation. Why? Here are the reasons. Number one is that during wine fermentation, yeast converts the sugar present 
into alcohol through alcoholic fermentation. And this process is crucial for achieving the desired alcohol content in the wine. Second, this fermentation process influences the flavor and aroma profile of the wine. The types of yeast used, fermentation temperature, and duration can all impact the production of various compounds and higher alcohols, which contribute to the wine's sensory attributes. In conclusion, wine fermentation is critical to the development of wine, determining its alcohol content, flavor profile, color, and overall qualities. The precise manipulation of the fermentation process is an important part of wine making, which makes the quality of the wine. Ah, hello there. All right, are here. So how you been? Actually, I was recently asked a question. That question may be, how does this activity help me to understand fermentation better? Well, one thing's for certain about this question is that engaging in this activity would allow us to experience it directly. Yes, so in theory, this would give us the knowledge about the different biochemical reactions first-handedly. Having seen and do the actual process would already be a step up towards new experiences. As you can use it in, hey, do it again. Or maybe, do it again. Or just use it in your general biology class. Probably. Or something better. By doing something new about fermentation, something that you find intriguing. And hey, based on my first experience, it's worth a shot actually. So let's go ahead. Okay.